Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I'm out here in the annex and I'm looking at the corner where I have the mechanics bench. And I have a rack above that bench. And the very top section of that rack does not have any uh, rails on it. So I, what I want to do right now is put a set of rails on it and then put a deck up there. Because I don't think you can see it from where you're looking. But this room is chock full of stuff. I mean, it is chock full of stuff. Now, I have a rack up there which is covered with wood and a few items. And I have another set of rails over there that I can add on to that rack and make another space. Because if you look, you can see there's like two feet in the middle there that doesn't have anything on it. There's just nothing above it. So if I put rails on that section, I can uh, create more shelf space. But for tonight, what I'm going to do is try and get the rails up on that rack, just that rack alone. One small step leads to another. This is going to make a horrible banging sound. If I set it up like that, it won't. Probably a good idea not, not to drop it then. When I can drop this bag full of bags and not cause any damage, I can drop that part and not cause any damage. I think that's a good thing to do. Now let's see. Can I put this rail up there? Is this ladder sturdy enough to hold me? That I'm not sure of. Hmm. 
Looks like I might have a problem. down from where I want to be. Yep, I want to be one notch further up. That's okay. I'll just climb up there and move it. Come with me and you'll see world of OSHA violations. I think I need to reestablish this ladder. Actually, I think I need to get the big ladder out of here that I can actually climb on. This is too short. Grandson's tractor out of the way. Okay. I'll get some more shelf boards. Now I'm going to go up here and see if I can get these boards in place. So I can put these beams up. beams in, but we're going to see. That appears to be one in place.
Now I'm going to drag that other one down. the bottom lug on that end over there engaged. And this one also engaged. So I need to get that one past that point. And I need to get the other one down further. I can see there's a problem because trying to get this beam up past this, I don't know, maybe it'll work. Well, that's not functional that way. I've got to take this ladder and turn it back into a step ladder so I can get up here and reach above that thing and have an opportunity to uh, engage those lugs on the end. I might have to move some stuff out of the way. And that's pretty much what every job here in this workshop requires. Since I move stuff out here, It has made it a place where there is lots of stuff. Take a lot of effort. Now it's solid.
Well, technology got me again. Just as I set the last beam and put the last pin in, the camera died. I don't know if we got film or not. If not, I have the top two beams up in place. I have the keeper pins in. I have two cross pieces. There's more of them on this ladder, but it's 11 o'clock and I've had a long day. So, if you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. Come with me and you'll see a world of OSHA violations. Have a good day. to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.